I think he's a bit of a clown, to be honest. I find it a bit irritating, but that's him. You know, if that works for him, so be it. But at the end of the day, I can't wait to fight him. You know, as time goes on, I think it's going to get worse for these lot because I, my confidence will grow as I keep on training, learning stuff that I've been working on for years. As soon as it clicks, then I can take that further. I start gaining confidence. I feel confident of beating these guys. I feel calm. I'm really looking forward to it, though. I'm excited that it's sold out. People are looking forward to it, and I just hope I can make history and become an IBF champion. Yeah, it's a big ask, but I'm sure I'm capable of achieving it. How's your training going? Is there any difference in the way that you're approaching this fight because of its magnitude? Little things. Like I've been doing more flexibility, more yoga. Ooh. My mind state is better. Like on the weekends, I'm at home more, I'm resting. I'm just really trying to make the most of this camp because it's only four more Saturdays before I fight. So if I can just make sure I'm disciplined in this period of time, then I'll leave no stone unturned come April 9th. So what's your daily routine? What are you up to today? So this morning, done a good 40 minute jog, a nice steady around Hampstead Heath. And then I'll travel to my sparring partners and we're going to get some rounds in. And at the minute, we're in the phase of doing a lot of sparring uh, with South Paws that we've brought in from Europe and America. So it's a lot of physical work. OK, after this fight, a lot of people are calling you out, including Mr. David Hay. What have you made of that? So bring it on. <laughs> yeah, you never, never back down from anything, do you? Uh, do you think you could, ch you know, realistically oh, challenge somebody like David Hay at the moment? Yeah, I think that my heart tells me I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, 16 fights, I can't complain anymore because I'm at championship level now. But the good thing is that I've got April 9th to get out of the way, focus on that as usual. And then moving forward, David Hay is a definite name I'll consider and take seriously. So I'll do it when I'm ready, he's ready, and it'll be a mega fight. And I'm really looking forward to more competitions like that at world level. Absolutely. And of course, if you are to become a world champion after 16 fights, that's quicker than Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis, Lennox Lewis and Vladimir Klitschko. Do you see yourself, Anthony, in that bracket? It's weird because you are, if you asked me that question two years ago, I would have said no, but as time goes on, I'm building a bit more confidence. But as long as I keep on winning, of course, I'm heading in that direction. But first and foremost, I've got to get these dates, secure the wins, and then I'm putting myself in that bracket. But if I predict the future and I stay on the course I'm on, I can definitely see myself alongside with some of the greats in, in boxing. Is it important to you to get a convincing win against Charles Martin, you know, a knockout? Yeah, because uh, I want to display my punching power, my accuracy. I wouldn't do it in a, in a fashion where it's a reckless knockout, um, no, no composure. This will be composed, calculated, and when I see the opportunity, I'm going to capitalise on it. And I want to be able to show that uh, what, what, what someone will call a professional novice can do to a world champion. And that's why I want to knock him out in good fashion. Uh, we just saw you going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Is there a bit of niggle between you two or not? Do you like each other? We're quite similar characters, but as soon as that bell rings, then uh, there is needle, of course, because this is the fight game. You know, it's, it's kill or be killed, really. There were two dogs coming into a ring trying to fight for the prize and made the best man win. And then after, as sportsmen, we shake hands and then we go about our business. We saw a lot of niggle in the fight between yourself and Dylan White. Just finally, Anthony, that was a pretty big test for you and perhaps some might say the first big test that you had. What did you learn from that that you will take into this fight then with Martin? To stay more composed, I'm capable of winning, but I don't always need to do it in a hard fashion. I can go out there and outbox and outclass my opponents, but at the same time, the fight was really entertaining. Um, that's what heavyweight fight's about, it was a good pace, but I don't always need to compete in those type of fights in order to win. I can do it in a much more calculated and sweet science of boxing fashion, and that's what I need to focus on is the sweet science of the sport rather than the brutality of the sport.